Are you go fishing? Let's go fishing. It's Friday, January 6, 2023. We are down here on the Little Red River in Arkansas, in Heber Springs, Arkansas. This river once held the world record brown trout. I believe it was like maybe from 1992 to 2009. The previous world record brown trout was caught right here in, in Arkansas, which is, is, is pretty cool. But um, the record's since been beaten, but uh, it's over like a 40 pound brown trout. So pretty cool, um, beautiful place. Um, we came to this river in 2008 is the last time we were here. And uh, so it's been a minute, but uh, we drove up this morning, left out about seven o'clock this morning. We drove up and uh, stopped at the fly shop and grabbed some flies and talked to the, the nice gentleman in there. And then uh, went to our cabin. We got a little cabin at Lindsay's Resort. Nice, cheap, uh, clean, right by the water. Awesome little place. And then we came down here and got rigged up. Got our stuff rigged up. It's about three o'clock. We're gonna fish for a couple hours and I'm just gonna go down here and look around and see what everything looks like and maybe we can get into some fish. But just a beautiful January day in Arkansas. We're gonna go give it a shot. He ate the hair's ear. No. But yeah, there's three uh, stocking pipes here, one, two, three, and uh, well, I'm on the second one, Jake's over on the third one, but a bunch of stalkers, stalker rainbows just uh, stacked up in here, but uh, I've got on a, I've got a six weight rod, little indicator, and then I've got a, I've got 5X tippet, and I'm, I've got a hair's ear, a little flashback hair's ear, and then I've got 6X to a, uh, a little root beer midge, but they haven't seemed to be hitting the midge. They've been hitting the hairs here, but a lot of fun. Caught three fish so far. Haven't been here but a few minutes, so Let's see if we can find a bigger fish somewhere. We caught several fish over by those, those stocking pipes and I uh, wanted to do a little bit of exploring. Put on a woolly booger and went down river here. Got a couple takers on a, on a woolly booger. Uh, it's kind of, it's not much flow down here. I'm gonna fish for a few more minutes here and, and head back to the cabin. Need some dinner. Uh, 
yeah, we weren't gonna rent a boat today. We were just gonna wade, but uh, we were like, heck, why not? Let's let's explore a little bit. We rented a boat this morning from Lindsay's Resort, and uh, it's just a lot of still water. So if we brought our streamer rods and our nymphing rods, but they're not generating. So I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure how much streamer fishing will do. It's really uh, mossy and still, not a lot of flow. Uh, we drove about a mile and a half down from Lindsay's and there's a little shoal here. I don't, we're gonna check it out. We put our waders on, we're gonna fish it. I'm um, not sure if we can get the, the boat through there. I know we can get it through there, just getting it back up. Beautiful day, overcast, no wind, 50, 50 degrees today. Um, slight chance of rain, uh, but just, uh, uh, just a perfect day here in Arkansas um, to be fly fishing. So, but anyways, um, we're gonna get after it. Yeah, it looks. See that gray water there? Oh, hit it! <laughs> you got You got a hit. Uh, not very, like, two foot. Not having a lot of luck on the <laughs> midge. So we're going to try this woolly booger out. Well, I think we made a mistake. So we rented the boat. We weren't gonna rent a boat on this trip. We were just gonna wait if they weren't generated. But for whatever reason this morning, I was like, let's, we're here, let's rent a boat and just kind of explore and cover some water and, you know, see what we can get into. But we've been fishing for, I think two hours now and we haven't caught a fish. This water is just dead calm. In fact, we're floating, we're drifting the opposite direction of the current it's that dead they're not generating we can only go about a mile that way and about a mile that way because uh it gets so shallow we can't get the boat through so but we've got the boat we've paid for the boat and uh so it's not like we're gonna dock it and we're kind of committed to it now so we're not sure what we're gonna do we're just kind of well through streamers but it's so dead and calm i just don't I don't see any fish chasing streamers right now. I mean, you could get lucky, but I just don't have a lot of confidence in that. There's not much of a current, so um, as far as throwing nymphing, I mean, your indicator will actually drift the opposite direction of the current right now. It's pretty deep right here. Or I just put an egg on and got an indicator and put it really deep. I don't know, maybe there's some cruising fish down, at, down deep that we were literally the only person out here. It's a Saturday on the Little Red, and I'm pretty sure that there are a bunch of people out on the river today. They're just not here, and I have a feeling I know why. <laughs> hey, it's hard to complain. I mean, this is a beautiful river. Uh, perfect day. Uh, what do you think, Jake? Old man over there. Drop it down in between those moss. Yeah, right there. <laughs> is it a good one? <laughs> it feels, it's either in the moss or it's a good one. Unless it got off. No, it's still on there. I can feel it. Still on there. You see him? Man. There's my egg. Here he comes, here he comes. It's a huge one. It's a huge one. <laughs> it's dude. a small one. That's <laughs> actually not bad. I mean, he's, not, he's not tiny. <laughs> we, we, we ended up figuring it out. <laughs> yeah, we worked hard for that fish, man. <laughs> oh. You just gotta keep trying different stuff, huh? There you go. We worked hard for it really hard for it <laughs> but hey we may have a strategy yeah you know? but. <sighs> it 
Good. <laughs> Try that again, dude. This is not an ideal way of fishing, but no. hey, at least we're saving. We, we didn't waste skunk. the boat. We didn't waste the boat. <laughs> we got a fish with the boat. That was a hundred and twenty dollar fish right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of bugs and midges probably get caught up in that box. That's true. Eat off of it, you know? Yeah. Oh, I missed him. That was, you were kind of more in that gray water. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for is that gray water. Drop it down in between those moss yeah, beds. Right there. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's hard to see, but I caught him too late. <laughs> I feel like if you don't get a hit within 10 seconds, it's like, you just recast it, you know? Oh. <laughs> oh, I wonder what he ate. No, he's still on there. Oh. I wonder what he ate, dude. I don't know. <laughs> that was funny. Oh. oh, he's coming right towards me. <laughs> he got a jumper. <laughs> Feisty little booger. Come here. Hey, this is the kind of fish we're going to be doing in about 30 years. When, when we uh, can't stand up anymore. probably should have uh, I went to some different public access points today but we decided to rent a boat and uh, just uh, um, explore this couple miles section here by uh, Lindsay's and uh, water was just still it was dead um, but uh, the fish that we did catch threw some eggs and midges uh, in the still water and um, those fish were just kind of sitting down there in that moss and we were able to pull a couple out but um, we're going to go to a different access point in the morning and see what we can do, but... Sunday morning um, we woke up this morning and, and checked out of the the motel and uh, we're gonna try a different area today uh, Friday evening we went to JFK Park explored that checked it out yesterday we rented a boat and uh, explored about a mile and a half stretch uh, where uh, the Lindsay's Resort is that was at and today we are at Winkley Shoals walk-in access so we're gonna go see it. Walk down here, see if we can find some better flow, some more fish. Yesterday uh, was was more of a boating, boating slash recreation trip. <laughs> the fishing 
we managed to pull a couple fish but we're gonna go down here and see what we can get into so uh, need one take one have one leave one so you can uh, oh that's cool yeah fly flyberry it's <laughs> pretty neat Yeah, this is nice actually seeing some flow <laughs> after yesterday. We get right up in this water here. It looks pretty good right up in there. Right there. Right there. That's a good drift. Getting that foam right there. Yeah, I'm getting a, I'm getting a pretty good drift over here. I'm thinking a sow bug or a hare's ear might work better out here. We're not wanting this egg, huh? All right, I put on a little hare's ear below this egg. Let's see. Oh, Jake's got a fish on. Nice, Midge. I just took my midge off. <laughs> oh, dude, that, that was a big fish that just came out of the water. Did you see it? See if I can get him. That's right where he was. Jake's got another fish on over there. Is it a good one? Yeah. Eating that red midge? Yeah. Don't mind us. There's a bunch of them. How are you scaring away all our fish? About to turn over some rocks. See what we got bug wise. And leech. Hey, the hair's here. A bunch of bunch of small ones. tried every kind of midge I could think of but I don't know if my indicator was just scaring them or what but I've got on this wet fly I just had a hit but I can see these fish sipping on top I probably need to move to another spot but I'm kind of obsessed with trying to figure these fish out over here 
Got him. Nice. So much fun. <laughs> oh, so much fun. Oh, it's so much fun catching on that wet fly. I haven't fished with one of those in a while, but we're just sipping on those midges on top. I think that indicator was just scaring them. But, nice. Well, we just got off the water. It was one o'clock. I thought it was like still 10 o'clock in the morning. I was like, oh, I'll go look for Jake, fish for a couple more hours and head back. And uh, I, got J I got back. Jake's like, hey, he's already got his waders off and everything. It's like, I was like, you ain't fishing anymore? He's like, no, I thought you wanted to leave at noon. And I was like, is it noon already? He's like, yeah, it's like one o'clock. So <laughs> I guess I was so keyed in on that spot over there. I was, I just couldn't figure him out. I catch one or one or two off of a fly and then nothing and then switch up and tried about 10 different midges and wet flies and all kinds of stuff. But uh managed to catch a few fish so jake what about you a 10 10 mm -hmm. would you catch them off of midge and uh that soft apple oh. yeah. what uh we should have came over here yesterday probably mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we probably could have caught a lot more fish but we kind of got to explore some several different sections of the river so but anyways we're gonna head back it was fun